Welcome to session number four of Feldenkrais in Minutes. Today we are going to introduce variations that highlight relationship between your pelvis and the ribcage shoulders. So please lie on your right side. Assume the same position as before with both of your knees bent, hips bent, and both of your arms in front of you. And as always, let's start with the original movement. So we can compare the quality of motion, size of movement, pleasure of doing the movement, and how much of your entire skeleton, your whole 206 bones, are involved in movement of lifting your left arm toward the ceiling and behind you, turning your whole body, how your head follows the motion, your eyes following your hand. Again, with no striving, no pushing, just within the range that feels simple. And even if it's limited, it's okay. Stay within the range that feels good to you. Stop. And now please bring your left knee, the top knee, toward the floor in front of you. Put your left arm straight in front and let's experience this movement here while the knee, left knee is staying on the floor. You will find that the movement is a little bit more restricted. Your pelvis, it, because of the left knee, is held in the position of right rotation, very gentle right rotation. So feel this limits the lifting of your left arm and turning of your shoulder girdle, your head, your chest to the left. Do this twice. Again, exhaling as you turn back, inhaling as you return back to starting position. Brief rests in between movements. Maybe one more. Lift your left arm in an arc, turning your upper body, your head. Coming back to starting position. Work on smoothness, ease and simplicity of your own actions. Lift your left arm again toward the ceiling and behind, allowing your breastbone to turn quietly, simply return back home. Return is as important as moving to the left. Experience it fully. Rest a moment, please. Take a breath or two, relaxing. In this position now place your left hand again on your right hand lift your left arm in the arc behind you and this time stay with your left arm hanging behind you and begin to lift your left knee a little bit off the floor, you will notice that your left arm can go further back when you lift the knee. And then return the knee back to the floor, which will lift your hanging left arm. Basically, there is a seesaw relationship between your left knee and your left arm. Arm goes to the floor, knee lifts up. Knee goes to the floor and the arm lifts up and feel how you roll through your right side. How your weight bearing is changing through this twisted shape of your right ribs, right waistline, right shoulder, right armpit. Very nice. And bring your left arm again slowly, gently straight to the front, 
take a breath and let's test the original movement lift your left arm toward the ceiling and behind you gently there is no rushing no rushing the success is in you processing experiencing the movement can you feel the arm going a little further without any attempt to go further can you feel the movement is a little bit freer very nice put your left hand now in front of you and put both knees in the same position as originally one knee on top of each other and let's go back to the original movement giving ourselves a chance to experience a change lift the left arm and see what this configuration of fixing your pelvis did to the movement now you may find you might become aware how free your pelvis is the pelvis can move backward it's not held by your left knee one more time lift your left arm toward the ceiling feel how your ribs your chest lower torso including your pelvis harmonize synchronize and cooperate with movement if the pelvis is not participating it's a way of getting in your own way and now let's lie on your back and give ourselves a minute again that hippocampal minute where the parts of your brain that are responsible for forming new memories and learning have a chance to replay the learning event even one minute can stimulate that process Please bend your right knee, very gently roll onto your left side, and we'll repeat the process on the other side. First, the original movement. Bring both of your arms in front. Right hand will raise toward the ceiling, the whole right arm, shoulder, head, eyes, chest turning behind you returning back to the front notice if there is any difference between this side and the first side difference in size and quality of motion Perhaps you're finding different parts of your skeleton participating in this movement that are different than on the while lying on the right side. Return the arm back to the front and please bring your right knee in front of you toward the floor the left knee can go a little bit back but both are bent observe how your pelvis is rotated a little bit toward the floor your pubic bone toward the floor and do the original movement of the right arm going behind you in an arc turning your head turning your shoulders turning your chest again you will find that the movement is a little bit harder actually most of you most of us will find it's harder unless there is some form of scoliosis that makes this pattern more preferential 
Lift your arm as you exhale. Smooth, simple, gentle movement. Head is following, eyes are following your right hand. Your right knee does not lift off the floor. In other words, you study the amount of rotation that is possible in your whole spine. Be mindful of places where we tend to overwork. These are actually places where we injure the most. It's not the stiff parts. It's the parts that we move the most. So if you find that there's something is uncomfortable or something is moving too much, see, could I reduce movement in that place where I tend to move too much and shift to new places? Now, lift your right arm toward the ceiling as you exhale and behind you slowly gently and stay with your right arm behind and begin to do that seesaw of lifting your right knee and bringing your right arm a little bit closer to the floor and then returning the knee to the flo floor which will pick up your right arm off the floor of course, unless you have a huge amount of rotation, then you might find that even with the knee touching the floor, the arm can stay. In that situation, reduce the movement and still do the seesaw movement because you have a chance to experience rolling over your left side, left waistline, left ribs, through that twisted shape, shifting weight bearing. Knee comes to the floor, arm lifts, and then knee lifts off the floor, Come, arm comes back down to the floor. Wonderful. Bring your right arm back to the front, gently, slowly. We avoid rushing. We're giving ourselves full opportunity to experience movement. Take a breath here in resting position and do the original movement with your right knee touching staying on the floor and see something may already feel little better return to the front and this time Put the knees on top of each other, right knee on top of the left one, meaning our original starting movement. And let's test it. Lift your arm toward the ceiling in an arc. Follow it with your head. This time your pelvis is not restricted. Can you feel your pelvis can roll back? Your right knee doesn't lift. The right knee gets pulled a little bit, gets shorter. Return to the front. Do it one more time. Lifting your right arm. We purposely slow down so we can have a fuller experience of action. Feel how your right pectoral area opens your upper chest widens and opens and then return feel how graceful the change of shift of weight is through your left side and please lie on your back back to our processing giving our nervous system a chance quiet eyes closed and nothing in particular to think of, nothing to get busy with. Stay there for a few more seconds. Of course, you can become aware of changes in the pattern of weight bearing, how your body is touching the floor. In other words, changes in your posture, in your lying posture. breathing quietly 
and noticing that these movements don't only make a change in your posture and movement, but also change something about your mind, your peacefulness. Wonderful. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.